Okay, so one more example here uh, about a little introduction to polar coordinates. So suppose we want to figure out what are the polar coordinates for the point with uh, rectangular coordinates of 3 comma 3. So hey, we just move three units to the right, three units up. That's our good old regular uh, rectangular coordinates. Well, we'll have to figure out two things. We'll have to figure out the angle uh, that's made by the, uh, the positive x-axis in that point. And we'll also have to figure out our r-value. Um, both of these are pretty straightforward to figure out though. Because really all we're going to do is just use a little, little trigonometry. So we've moved three units to the right, three units up. To get our r-value we can just use Pythagorean theorem. So 3 squared plus 3 squared would equal r squared. So that's what, 9 plus 9, which will be 18, equals r squared. Uh, so normally when we take the square root, we get positive and negative. But I'm going to use the positive square root in this case. And if you want to, you can even simplify the square root of 18. I guess that's the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. Uh, the square root of 9 is just 3, so we could write this as 3 root 2 as our value for r. So again, we write r and then we write theta, so our r would be 3 root 2. Um, to figure out this angle theta, well, we can just use tangent. So tangent of theta would be the opposite over the adjacent, so 3 over 3. So that's just going to give us tangent of theta equals 1. Well, we're sitting here in a quadrant 1. This is definitely going to be theta equals pi over 4, or 45 degrees. So uh, one way to describe this point would be to use the polar coordinates 3 root 2 comma pi over 4. Uh, again, notice there's uh, lots of different ways that we could describe this point as well. So uh, Notice we could have even used 3 root 2 comma, say, how about negative 7 pi over 4? Because negative 7 pi over 4, um, we would go around. That would put us at the exact same angle. Okay, negative 7 pi over 4 would put us at the same angle. And again, we would just go at a distance of 3 root 2. So this would also be an equivalent solution. Um, so you can always add or subtract multiples of 2 pi from your, uh, your value, your, your, your angle. We could have even used, uh, say, a different one. Suppose we use the angle negative, uh, how about the angle, um, let's see, negative 3 pi over 4. So normally positive 3 pi over 4 would put us you know, up in the second quadrant. Negative 3 pi over 4 would put us down in the third quadrant. Um, if we use a positive radius, though, it would keep us in the third quadrant. Well, to reflect things back, we would just take the negative of that. So we could use negative root 3, negative 3 root 2, comma, negative 3 pi over 4 as another way to describe that, uh, that point using polar coordinates. So maybe more than you wanted to see. Again, I think little things that are definitely uh, good to think about, though. But certainly this would be the, the answer choice that I would go with.